Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am just introing this week's video as it's gonna be a vlog. It is now Wednesday. I'm about to go to Chill Factor for an event and a snowboarding lesson. I've never snowboarded in my life or skied, so I'm excited. I'm a bit nervous. I'm hoping that I'm not gonna sustain any injuries, but I felt a bit more comfortable picking snowboarding over skiing because I just feel like it's a bit less dangerous when both feet are on the same plane, I don't know. But I'm currently a little bit behind time. I need to drive out of town and I'm praying that I'm not gonna get stuck in traffic, but I think Beth and Aaron are almost there, so I best get going. But, but I wanted to take you guys with me for the next few days because I've got some fun things going on. I've got some events and just thought I'd bring you guys a bit of a different video this week because you're all asking for a vlog. So here we are, I'll see you guys at Chill Factor. Just got here, it's so sunny. I literally couldn't see where I was going. I actually, funnily enough, brought some ski glasses but obviously couldn't wear them to block the sun out but i need to go in beth and aaron are already in there stone is on his way from london he should be here anytime now don't really know what to expect to be honest Get your fiddle, ski, snowboard, whatever it is you're gonna do. Look who's arrived. We've not got the colourful stuff. Oh, we're missing out on the colourful bit. Yeah. Bit jealous. There was your size left, but you were late. It's real snow, you know. Real snow vibes. We're at the Northern Snow Show. And we're about to have a snowboarding lesson. This is the pro skier. And the not so pro skier. <laughs> I don't think that this is um, I think it's a vibe. I think that's good. You'll need it. Yeah. Cold. yeah. And you get really cold. Do I? Do I? Yeah, I do. The slopes. I can't wait. I'm going to be doing flips by the end. They look tight. They're all tight. Safe. Safe and fast. The, my thought process behind the snowboarding was that it's safer. The knees, Stone's got teletendonitis, so we've got to look after him. My knees are also questionable. So, ready? Ready. Position. Legs relatively straight, look where you're going. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Superb, Lauren, well done. Spot on that. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. We're currently doing toe edge. We've done a heel edge, toe edge, and now we're doing another toe edge. We're going to do our last slope of the day. Back to the upright. I really want to come back, you know. It's snowboarding. If you're gonna fuck yourself up, you are. Easy. Woo! <laughs> oh, cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. Just got back from Chill Factory. Apparently, I was saying it wrong. We had the best time. Don and I did snowboarding, and Beth and Aaron did skiing in the end because Aaron could already ski, and so Beth learn how to ski she did the skiing lesson so yeah we ended up getting split up but it was really fun there were so many people there and i'm just actually impressed that i wasn't awful you know when you maybe have that expectation that you could be a little bit of shit but it was all right I only fell over twice did a bit of zigzagging left to right we kind of covered the basics i think also guys i want to have a little chit chat with you because I am really enjoying doing YouTube. I think it's really opened me up to a new community. I love that I don't have to chop it down into a 30 second clip or something. 
but she was having this conversation with Seth the other day. She's been doing her YouTube for a while now and actually she was one of the people that kind of encouraged me to get back into it. But it's nice that YouTube's a bit more real and personal, whereas Instagram, I think, can be made into something that's maybe a bit more elaborated on the truth, whereas YouTube to me just feels a bit more raw and unedited. Maybe that's just my take on YouTube because I don't have the <laughs> skills to do anything else. I went to a Paula's Choice event last week and it was for the launch of the new Pro Retinol Dehyde Dual Retinoid Treatment. And this stuff, look how yellow it is when it comes out. I've been using it ever since. And I've been struggling a bit with my skin, as you can see. Well, actually, it's kind of on the mend. I don't know if it's a combination of just it being the time of year that it is, or if it's because I'd developed a bit of a love for cottage cheese, I've been having a bit more dairy, or if it's just like the change in the weather, but my skin had been breaking out. So this literally couldn't have come at a better time because it basically says it's for advanced, it's advanced results for aging and clear skin. It seems to be working. I feel like it's giving me a glow. Another thing that I do love is this gua sha. I think it's a really nice way of just slowing down before bed. It's just so de-stressing and I think I'm someone that holds a lot of tension in their jaw. So doing this massages it out for me and just deep off my face. How do you do it on your forehead though? I just go like this, but I don't think that's right. It's meant to just stimulate blood flow, I think. That should do. Anyway, time to get to bed because today was the first day in the whole of September that I had a green recovery on my weed band, which is it's kind of shocking as someone that is a coach herself. And I do you think that's a hard thing to navigate as a coach you obviously try to lead by example but you also are running a business at the same time and business can really take its toll sometimes so this lip booster if you can see it so good i do remind myself that it's all part of the job really but you do have to lead by example i'm gonna pop it on a little spot patch i put on about 16 of these last night. These guys are going to be making a killing off me. I don't think they're working to be honest. I think they're a bit of a marketing ploy. Pop them on anyway. Morning guys, it's now Thursday. I've just got ready to go to the gym but I ended up having a bit of a lion today and I am someone that really loves to be in a routine. I like to get up at the same time every day and go to bed at the same time every day but last night we ended up getting back really late. In the past, I would say no to doing things during the week because I'm so regimented. But one thing that I've been trying to allow myself to do a bit more is to say yes to things and go to these fun things because I do love the social aspect of what I do and getting invited to events is so cool. It does come at the cost of obviously time elsewhere. So I ended up getting back quite late last night I've just had some satsumas and some pre-workout and I'm gonna head to the gym, do upper and then get on with my day. Today we've got run club at six, so it'll just be a day of work and then run club later. So how good am I? I had pre-prepared dinner last night. I made a Thai curry with all the veg that we had from our Odd box this week, which is something that me and Stone have been trying out. We get this box of odd veg delivered every two weeks, and it's just veg that either there was too much of, um, or it's too odd that it can't go to the shops. And I had some weird cucumbers in there. I'd never seen a cucumber like it. I thought they were courgettes potentially. So yeah, the veg is truly odd, but we had cabbage and kale and onions and I did add additional peppers that we got from the shop. I don't know if you'd be able to consider it a Thai curry based off what I put in it. Who knows? And then I also had made some rice. So I'm gonna go to the gym, stop chatting away.
Just got back from the gym and we've got some puzzles. So I thought I'd open them with you. I'm gonna make a tripod stand out of some pre-workout. Wow. Firstly, absolutely criminal that I have got this puffer out and it's only the 12th of September. That's not okay. Like, I wasn't expecting to have to get the hot puffer out for a while. Had a good gym session. I did upper and one thing that has really changed recently with my sessions is that i am doing less strength just because my body wasn't really coping well with everything that i was doing so taping it down a bit so i just do one upper session a week as well as a one lower session a week and then i do kind of an additional session that's sled and conditioning off the back of the run if i can fit it in which this week i'm unsure if i will i'm also swimming once a week i'm also doing four runs a week and I will be feeding in a bit more high rocks training soon. So I'm just really focusing on my half marathon at the moment, which is why I'm doing running mostly and kind of pairing back the strength. To be honest, I do feel well challenged still. I'm, oh my gosh, guys. I think I already mentioned about my sleep problems maybe, but can you see my eye twitch? My eye is twitching. And basically I think I have had a very busy two weeks and I've been a bit too reliant on the caffeine and now I'm trying to wean myself off. My eye is like, drink some energy. Literally got loads of cans waiting here on the table. I love these. However, just in case anyone was thinking of getting some of the ESM Crank Energies, if you want a carbonated beverage, don't get anything that says iced tea on it because these aren't fizzy and i thought have i just got a bad batch but they're just not fizzy it actually doesn't have the carbonic acid in it which is mad but yeah old stone to take them to rugby and hand them out to the boys but these ones are so good i don't know why i just can't really get on i can't get on board a non-fizzy energy drink had two parcels and ooh, oh it's truly london never had any Trini London. That is so nice. What have we got? Though, I'm gonna be honest, I don't wear that much makeup. So, but I've definitely used the case. The packaging, so nice. However, maybe I should give these to my mum because I probably won't make full use of them and she'd actually love that. That's like right up her street. And there's literally one with her name. Oh my gosh, have we got that shade? We've got Poppy, Martha, and Charlotte. No, not got mum's name, but there is one and she would love that colour. So, yeah. And, oh, you know what? This morning, ran out of toothpaste and Stone said, do you not get this on Amazon subscription? And I said, I'm pretty sure I do, but I didn't check. And good job I didn't waste my time because toothpaste. Also get these because it's important to keep these clean for the skin especially if you're struggling with spots like me. But that is probably an underwhelming unboxing. But I'm just gonna get in the shower, freshen up, and then make some food. Because I've got Run Club later, I thought I'd just take you through what I do when I've got a double training day, because I know this is something that is important for a busy girl. You've gotta look good, but you also don't wanna smell bad, and you wanna be comfortable so because i did a lower body session my hair isn't actually very sweaty so literally just tidy it up and then leave that for the day and then i am going to do my makeup just because i feel like it just makes me feel like i've got my shit together so i'm just gonna tidy my hair up do some makeup and i've popped on my outfit for run club later already it's underneath here we've got on the Gymshark Adapt Animal Safari set. I believe that's the full name, but I've got the black sports bra and the black shorts on. And just because I'm feeling quite autumnal today, I've put on this green Gymshark 
physical education tracksuit as well just because I might get a bit chilly when I'm in the workspace in a pair of shorts so I've got joggers and hoodie on because it's like I said Baltic today guys it's absolutely freezing so I'm gonna redo the hair I've lost all my hair brushes recently one of my fave ones which is very sad the gel that I use, by the way, is anything that I can get at the shops because I do get asked this one a lot. I'm using the VO5 Mega Hold Gel right now, but I'll alternate between that and the L'Oreal one as well. Just whatever is in the shops that holds well and that is cheap because I get through a lot of it and that does the job. So I'm not really fussed about getting a fancy hair gel. As long as it keeps my hair in place. Also, when I was doing handstands at the end of my session, I was like, oh God, this probably isn't the best idea after an upper body session because my arms were dead. But handstands are something that I am trying to practice regularly. So I just throw them in. At the end of every session that I do, I always stretch. I always do a couple of handstands. And something that I also probably should start doing with every gym i say every gym session i literally have two or three gym sessions a week but then i also go to yoga so four real solid stretches and handstand practices in the week and my handstands have come on so much it's honestly wild i'm just gonna pop on some makeup but guys with anything sorry i got sidetracked that with anything when it comes to just any skill, it doesn't even have to only be fitness that I'm talking about here. If you want to get good at something, you have to practice. And I have wanted to do handstands and I've wanted to be able to do a handstand for years. And I've only just been able to. And that's because I've been practicing regularly. And it's one of those things that I never prioritized in my week before yoga because it was a bit, there was not really a specific goal or I wasn't trying different things, different ways of progressing the handstands. Whereas when I went to yoga, I was going to yoga for other reasons, for, you know, mental switch off and the stretching and the mobility. But then because the handstands were there too, I was like, I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to give the handstands a go because why not? And honestly, the handstands, just seemed to evolve. I was going to hot yoga and I felt yoga really improved my core strength, which was the one thing that I needed to work on for my handstands really, as well as my balance. But it was my core strength because I have a really flexible back basically. And I just always would flop over. I could never control my core. So yeah, my core developed and then I started to give headstands a go when she'd tell us to do the forward fold. Maybe put your head on the floor, I put my head on the floor and then maybe kick up, I kicked up on about, I don't know how many weeks in this was, but I'd been going for a little while and then I thought, like, oh my God, I can do a headstand. And I did fall over on a few occasions. That is just part of the process. And yeah, I wasn't the only one to fall over um, doing a headstand. But I think just not having the fear of falling is a big one. And I literally remember falling once. There was loads of people in the class that I knew from the gym that I teach at. They've never let me live it down, but also I'm not that bothered about it. And it was kind of funny, but basically I fell onto a man that was like next to me. The class was absolutely rammed and I'd gone down to my headstand and then went into my had my legs up and then I just completely flopped over and hit this man and I felt so bad but he was okay so you can't be perfect first time you're gonna have some slip-ups you're gonna have some errors like me so luckily he was very uh, nice about it and wasn't too bothered that I banged into him and it was it was kind of funny I think you just gotta learn to laugh when you're a beginner at something and learning something because you're gonna feel silly, you're gonna feel out of your comfort zone and you can either approach it with fear or you can approach it with humor. And I just think, just laugh it off. What's the worst that can happen? Just don't get injured. That's probably the worst that could happen really, isn't it? A little bit of embarrassment is absolutely fine and you can take it at your own pace, but 
yeah, I think the more you challenge yourself, the more you will obviously get out of it too. So just be a beginner, guys. One thing that I've realized from my fitness journey is that though there are some kind of distant themes throughout, I do love being a beginner. I love having a new challenge and trying something new. So that's something that I've had to learn to incorporate into my lifestyle and my routine when it comes to the gym. I try to keep things fun and entertaining, but at the end of the day, I also need that stimulation. And because I do a lot of training and it's something that I really enjoy, I do have to keep it fun and varied. So yeah, I kind of go through phases with my training. At the moment, I've got a real running focus which is why I've toned down my gym sessions a bit. Also, I'm just not far too dark. And then once that's over, it will be high rock season and high rocks will then be my focus. I'll still be running with that, but it will be more compromised run sessions. I've been enjoying the change. I've been more of a runner yogi recently and less of a hybrid girl, which has been fun, but yeah, it kind of comes in seasons because you can't always give 100% to the same thing all the time. You like, you need that stimulation, or well, at least I know I do. And it's something that I, you know, suggest to my clients as well. If they maybe are starting to feel that lack of motivation, a lot of the time it is just the fact that they either need to, maybe they're falling out of love with going to the gym, they need a new goal, maybe strength goals aren't actually what they really are suited to because I think a lot of people get into the gym and they're like I want to grow muscle and that gets you so far but then when you maybe get to that point it's like well what's next what's going to keep you stimulated maybe you realize actually you appreciate different things so keeping things varied is a very important thing to remember if you want your fitness journey to be a long and fruitful one that is really enjoyable and that you get the most out of at the end of the day because skills are so cool and god knows what skill i'm going to be picking up next but currently handstands and running is my focus breakfast is almost served homemade hash brown with avocado we've got eggs and tomatoes and in the air fryer i've got some can you see that i've made kale crisps and courgettes the kale crisps are a new discovery of mine because I put some kale that I needed to eat in the air fry yesterday. Didn't realize that it would dry them out into crisps and they started flying around. And I was like, what is that noise in the air fryer? But it was just the kale and it actually tastes so good. It goes so crispy and it's wild. <laughs> I made a TikTok yesterday when I tried it for the first time about, do you remember when everyone's mum and their dog was eating kale crisps? And why aren't they a thing? Because they're actually so nice. I just used the uh, Tesco's finest kale because I think it's just a little bit of a different, nice consistency. Right now, just checking we're not missing any courgettes here. But yes. That is breakfast. I'm just gonna eat it and do some admin. Not allowed to film it. Guys, we're editing the Honor Active Legendary collection. How nice is the blue? Obsessed with this one. I haven't actually worn it yet, but need to. I think that's a yoga outfit, to be honest. And then the pink. Guys, this is the first time I've had one of these interactive bandos I love I'm excited to try this I've seen people doing a challenge where they see how if they can run in the bandos and apparently it holds up so well so I think I need to try it on a run and then the red honestly I don't know which one's my favorite I think the red is unreal the way that the waist is shaped with the wrap it just cinches you in it is so good and the joggers the joggers guys everything is just so spot on you guys are really getting the behind the scenes here. This probably isn't going to be in the actual thing. Oh my god, have I shown you the first outfit? Here it is. The black. You can't see it. But yeah, the black. Also, I've worn this loads already. But the joggers are so good. Though, 
they are a little bit long on me. I probably should cut them because I wore them when it was raining and they just soaked up the rain. <laughs> but they look so nice and they're so comfy and they're so floaty. And something is just so nice and the jacket I've worn so much as well. But anyway. But yeah, enough of me talking you through. I'm gonna get this edited and hopefully shared today. on the home straight now. Almost there. Uh, done almost 10k. <laughs> it's gonna be dark in like a couple of weeks. But we're doing this run. Legs on the cat down to high rocks. Just got back from run club. We had such a big turnout today which was mega. I need to count how many people there were but there was definitely between like 20 and 30 girls. Maybe slightly more than 30 I'm not sure but we got slightly caught in the rain and I'm about to get in the shower because I'm very sweaty but it was so beautiful I'm gonna insert the clips of us running because there was the most incredible sunset coming from like this direction it's gone now unfortunately but it was such a nice run met so many new lovely faces if any of you guys that are watching happen to live close by to Manchester and want to come on one of our female only Thursday runs that we do every single week then you're welcome to come down it's free social fun and we also do monthly runs that are open to everyone guys and girls and our next one is on the 21st of September there is tickets for that one but it's still free and we've got pastries after Flat Baker and if you've not already been to them then we definitely recommend because they are so good it's like the home of the pistachio croissant but I'm about to put dinner in the microwave and then I'm gonna get in the shower. But I had so many nice chats today, met some really cool girls and it's just always so nice. Like, I just think Run Club is the best thing ever. It is so rewarding and you meet so many lovely women like from all different walks of life. And I really wanna grow Run Club so that more people can come because currently we just run at around 6.30 pace each week but would love to maybe have a someone that's a pacer that runs it a bit slower for us and someone that runs it a little bit faster because 6.30 is kind of like where I sit personally. Um, I mean, I could potentially go a little slower or faster, but I think, you know, you know what your kind of set pace is and that's mine, but I would love to kind of broaden it a little bit and have more girls. Um, but yeah, everyone's on like great vibes. Manchester was so busy with runners today as well because we're literally like four weeks out from the Manchester half. So I think everyone's like getting the miles in now. But if you're watching this and you're doing the half marathon or a half marathon, then don't panic that the race is coming up because the worst thing you can do is injure yourself at this point. So make sure that you're still just keeping it steady. You can always swap out runs for swim, bike, you know, lower intensity things if you're getting a little bit of a niggle maybe. But yeah, the worst thing you can do is panic. And dinner is served. And I've got the cutest little setup going on. I've got dinner, which is a Thai curry with chicken, broccoli, rice, and I've put some crispy onions on top. We're being entertained by the queen herself. We've got Molly May on and some candles, and I've got myself a little orange can, if you can see that. Stunning vibes, stones at rugby. So this is what I do on a Thursday, basically, after run club, I come back shower i was gonna wash my hair it's actually still sweaty because i realized that i'm doing a swim in the morning so there's literally no need for me to wash my hair because i'll have to wash it again tomorrow so this will be me for the foreseeable i'm gonna enjoy my food enjoy my company and then i'm gonna go to bed good morning we've had a bit of a change of plans for this morning i ended up managing to book on to a class at the gym i teach at f45 but it just means that now i'm actually gonna have to run there because we don't really have time I literally was on the wait list until about 10 minutes ago and I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna do it. So we're now gonna go do this class and then we're gonna walk back and then grab my bags and go for a sauna. My toxic trait is calling this a hybrid session because I'm running and then doing weights and hybrid training. Give myself a good myself when I'm running in my sweats. <laughs> Guys, I've just got back from the pool and I've popped on some clothes. I wanted to show you today's outfit because this collection is launching on Monday the 16th. How exciting. 
It's the Honor Active Legendary Collection and it is just stunning. This is top isn't part of it, but I just needed something that was a bit longer because I only had the matching sports bra. But these joggers are so nice. I've started drying my hair. I'm meeting my manager for a coffee in 17 minutes. So I need to get my hair dried, pop on some makeup, and then I'm going to grab a protein shake and probably some fruit and have that when I'm at the coffee shop if I can sneak a little protein shake in because I am so hungry <laughs> after my morning of workouts. I really should have a proper breakfast. So definitely don't follow by example there, but it means you gotta do what you gotta do and if that's all I can fit in, then that's what happened today. Guys, this stuff is what you need when you're hair. Looks like this. I mean, that is because I've just speed dried it, but this is gonna get rid of all the threads. Just had a great meeting with my manager and I'm just about to have breakfast. I did have an ESN protein shake when I was at the cafe and oh my god guys you need to try this protein powder because it is the best protein powder I have ever tried and I mean as someone that's dairy free it can be hard to find good ones and 100% would recommend that blueberry one and equally I would recommend this one this is the hazelnut nugget I put this in literally all of my oats or overnight oats it's so good i've put the blueberry one in too but this is my number one i've also got the cinnamon star but i'm not a real big cinnamon girl i don't i've not tried this one in protein oats yet but stone's got it himself the non-vegan version and we've also got the whey protein isolate but yeah these two are my absolute faves i need to try some more but little tangent there, I just thought I'd give you some protein recommendations. I am gonna eat my breakfast, I need to write out some bits, and then I'm gonna go get some editing done because I've got so much content to edit. It is wild. Honestly, love having meetings with my manager. I feel like I just get this like new lease of inspiration, perspective, motivation, and I'm just so ready to get into some work today now because we just spoke about strategy etc but first breakfast dinner is served we've got rice with the same curry i had last night and a can and crispy onions what have we got here so we've tragically bought <laughs> toppings for fry and it's shop. actually not any cheaper and but it's been exactly the same got, price but you can't get you can't get can't get, of can't get them can't. and not those portions either but we've got mango pistachio sauce raspberries peanut butter cups you've got vanilla blueberries, vanilla. blueberries and it's a, it's pistachio yeah we won't be doing that again yeah. but i'm excited for it though, nevertheless Good morning guys. I've decided to carry on my vlog today, but the reason why the outfit looks so questionable is because I'm about to go teach at F45 and then I'm gonna go straight on my run, but I just didn't know how to dress for both, basically. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, I'd say try prioritizing running over other stuff for now. Yeah. Because it's only a few weeks, isn't it, really? And then you can come back. Because the worst thing to do is try doing too much. And then you injure. And then you injure. Yeah, so just focus, take it easy, recover. Yeah. You'll be fine. The goal is to finish it. Yeah. Just you don't want to get like shin splints or anything like that. So, yeah. Take care of yourself. Have the same shoes on. I really like them. Yeah. Might do a little. I'm gonna do 23 in them. It was either gonna be these or my um my like race day shoes, but I thought I'm not like going for pace today. So I thought I'd wear them. But yeah, 
I think they're really good. They're so comfy as well. You know, like now that I've worn them a few times, they're like molded to my foot. I think I prefer them to the um, their other ones. You know, the ones that people. The oh, the lifting ones. Yeah. Obviously, they're good for lifting, but. I do, I do love my other ones for when I'm like, you know, when I'm spotting them. Like, yeah, they are so like, good. If I'm doing just strength stuff, they're like my go-to. But if there's anything like that. No. I have, I've had like the Nike Metcons. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, they're just like, oh my God, yeah. They're, they're the best yeah. than, like, better than any other like CrossFit or lifting shoe I've ever had. Yeah. But I was like, I didn't think these would be as good as they are. Yeah. And they look cool. Stone was like, they're so ugly, and I said, "Stone didn't like them." I think he does now. Yeah. I think it's hard to see a shoe that isn't a brand that you like. It grown up to see it. Yeah. We've got apricots. We've got two bananas. A bar. It's not even that cold. I don't think. Maybe I'll be. I might just put this in the back of my vest. Hey guys, just been on a run club, 5k, with some friends and now I'm continuing my 23 kilometers on my own. So I had another 16 to do by the time I made it to the canal. Yeah, it's a really nice sunny day. I've got my gels, I've just had some apricots and I'm about to have my main gel in a moment to give me some energy. I thought I should probably brief you on what I'm doing today. So 23k at comfortable pace. The distance is over the half marathon. Build myself some additional volume before we start to taper off till the day. But I mean, I've done this distance before. It's not like I've not run a marathon. So for me, this is all right, but just taking it comfortable, I'm trying to stick it around a six pace, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Just got back from my run. I'm gonna pop you guys here for a second because a tripod finally arrived, which would be great because I've literally been just hand holding. You're currently on my Stanley, but we're leveling it up. Oh, it says push. I've pushed it. What happens next? Oh, there we go. I got this off like Alibaba or AliExpress, one of them. But open the end, adjust the height of the peg. How do you, wow. I'm not sure how you adjust the height, but let's pop you on. Wow. I feel like a YouTuber. I just need to figure out how to get a better camera or just figure out how to use this one because I feel like, is the quality not that great or is it okay? Let me know guys, but yeah, I can't a camera that doesn't have, so this one's a mirrorless camera. I'll take a video and try and insert it so you can see yourselves. This is the camera I have, it's EOS M100. It's basically got this thing. A lot of people I know that have, that YouTube and vlog, have ones that the lens comes in and it just means that it's a bit easier to take around because mine's mirrorless. Obviously it's good that you can interchange the lenses, but the lens I've got is one, not great, and two, just n not so compact. So I'm thinking of getting a new one, but sorry. I've literally ran 23 kilometers without a drop of water. I had a gel, a pack of apricots, and the things I had before, but I didn't realize how warm it was gonna be. And I'm, I was gasping for water. I should have known because it always happens on these long runs. I get so thirsty towards the end that I'm literally like, I feel like I've been running in the desert for six days straight and I am gonna cry when I see a bottle of water or even a drop of water. I'm having hallucinations that there's water in front of me. I'm craving it that bad. So just gonna have to bear with me. It's so nice and gold. Oh, yeah something changes your life and for me it was the day that we started putting water in the fridge i've got two stanleys i have them on rotation through the fridge so as one comes out one goes in so there's always a cold bottle of stanley i actually have a third stanley which i keep in my bag but that one's not cold that's just there 
these stones got a Stanley. I don't even think these are real Stanleys to be honest. I got them off TikTok shop and they were like 18 pounds. I think the real one is 30. It's like 10 a difference. But the run, 23K, felt good. Let me check what pace I did. 6.12, which is about what I wanted. I got slower towards the end. I'm pretty sure my splits get worse and worse. Basically, longer the bar, the faster you are. So, <laughs> didn't mean to make that rhyme. That was my fastest one, as you can see, which is kilometer seven. And then the shortest ones are my slow ones. So you can see I really slowed down in kilometer 18, and then I sped up, and then I slowed down again. I was kind of fed up by here. But yeah, you've got the elevation and your heart rate. And there was a bit of elevation, though my coach did tell me to avoid elevation. But you can see that this one was minus 13 elevation, which is why I was fast, you would assume. But generally, it was quite flat. But having less elevation is better for coaches because I guess then they don't have to take that into consideration. And then you can see my heart rate. It, it did get higher towards the end because I was struggling and I wanted some water. But yeah, we were around, what was my average? Average heart rate was 151 BPM. So bad, not bad. Let's see what the whoop band has to say. You can tell that I'm a coach at heart. I love the stats. Also, I'm so happy that I'm back in the green on my whoop because September was a struggle. You see, I'd been busy. You can see now that Wednesday, Thursday, and today I'm in the green, which is great. And I've done a 20.4 strain. I did teach this morning too which always gives me a bit of strain. The first third was a lot of zone, just everything up to zone three really. And then after that, then I was in zone four mostly. So I think that's just me getting tired and having a bit of elevation as well. Cause there was a bit of elevation as I was doing the first bit on the run club. But I would definitely recommend going to run clubs when you're doing long runs because it really makes it go by a lot faster. But the run club was great. Loads of the girls that I'm friends with in the fitness community in Manchester were there. There was Oyinda, Alicia, there was Celia, there was Zoe. I met Zoe for the first time. Re was there, though I didn't get to chat to Re. I know there's a few other girls. But the run club was fun and it was only 5k sad times. I wish it was longer because I love having company when I run. I should have really, I need to get better at arranging friends to join me on my long runs. My clients are so good at that. They all run together all the time, but me, not so great. I'm always trying to fit things in wherever I can that I have to be quite rigid and I feel so bad because it's like, it has to revolve around me. But yeah, um, I should have really pre-planned that. So, Enjoyed the run anyway, and I enjoyed that I saw some girls even if it wasn't the start. And I was meant to be getting my eyelashes done at half two, but then I just realised Stone's game kicks off at half two. So I've had to cancel my lashes and be the good girlfriend that I am and go to the rugby because I like watching him play and it's a really nice day. And I'll just get my lashes done another time. I transferred my lash lady the money that I would have owed anyway and I was like go get some steps in the sun because it's so nice outside um, but yeah a bit gutted about that but you know not the end of the world would rather show my support because Stone's been very supportive for me recently with all my crazinesses and we've also got friends that are staying over so it'll be nice to see them I've not seen them in so long but guys I think I might end the vlog here because I want to get this uploaded tomorrow and it's going to be pushed as it is. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying the vlogs. You'll have to let me know what you thought of this longer one because this vlog basically ran from Wednesday through to Saturday and it worked for me. I'd be happy to do them like this if you guys enjoyed them. But don't forget to go follow me over on Instagram, Laura underscore fit. If you're looking for a coach of any sort, I am a coach. So... You can go over to let's grow underscore coaching if you're looking for a coach 
I do have a couple of spots and that is everything. I'm gonna go now because I need to get ready. But thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.